Welcome back to some more Elden Ring 100% and then the DLC, the Earth Tree afterwards, also 100%. So we're starting here at the bridge of uh, Iniquity. I'm gonna head this way. There's three pieces of loot we gotta get here. And then we should get invaded as well. Let's see. So if they kill each other, we're gonna get some free runes. Oh, I didn't kill him. Okay. There's two. We need one more loot. I think it's all the way at the end of this bridge. The third piece. The invasion should start at this tree. Oh, sorry, this this house. Take care of the doggies before we get there. Yeah, getting invaded. knife and a golden vow so golden vow is something you will use if you're a paladin player another stone sword key uh, there's a bridge here but we're gonna go up here at some uh in uh, some other way uh i mean this game is leading you know, we're gonna go a different direction uh, to get up. I think we'll go through all this area here and then just cross, if that makes sense, uh, from a, a different direction. But right now, we're just gonna head to the castle. Uh, there is a piece of loot that we did miss, which I'll quickly just go get. Which I could have just uh, used the grace to go back to. So we're gonna run past the grace. Here's the grace. We came from this direction. But if you look down, there should be some loot right underneath us. So we're gonna come here. Actually, uh, I think we need to use it. I'm not too sure. So if we go this way, we can jump up this one. <gasps> not even close. Oh my goodness. And then we're getting this right here. Okay, so we're going to now make our way to the castle, which is right here, but we're going to enter from this side, which to be honest should just be right below us. Oh, uh, let's see. We'll just go like this. Oh, more loot. Golden Rune. Yeah, we are running the wrong way because the marker is still up. Should be the other way.
super big bridge in front of us now because we ran the wrong way first. So we'll just go back. So we need to be underneath where we were before. So we'll drop down twice again and then run run there. Okay, it's castle time. Obviously, slag up any goodies you see. Dude, we are like 30 subscribers away from 500. Once we get 500, we're gonna have memberships enabled on the channel. Okay. So we can come from the back here. The Shaded Castle of Doom. Whoa. From five. That's the only dude here. So we're just gonna. Oh. Okay, we've started from here. Didn't see any loot. Gonna make our way south. To the south, to the south. I know there's loot down there. Yeah, there is. Anti-poison foodies. Yeah, we're just not dealing enough damage to one-shot them. Kind of annoying. Somber 5. But yeah, poison, even if it builds up, it doesn't do that much damage, so... Still better not to mess with it, to be honest. So, we don't want to stay in it. Wow, need to three shot the per perfume, guys. Okay. Gonna make our way up here. Perfume hit us. Let me know in the comment section if you guys ever played with a perfume. And is it actually good or not? What's your opinion on it? it? Seems decent, actually. Yeah, but it all depends, like, how often can you use it? Oh. 
Because some of these things actually requires consumables to use, right? When I started playing the game, I thought, hey, listen, I saw someone finish the game with, uh, with a, a bow only. And I, I was just wondering, should I just, you know, do a bow run? Because that looks pretty interesting. But the thing is, though, um, the game is meant to be played somewhat like this. Obviously, you can play a mage. You can play, um, you can play an archer, right? You can play faith bolts. You can be a half paladin or a full paladin. All these, like, bolts is actually pretty decent. The thing is, though, I don't really want to spend... Because this is the problem I had also when I played the game blind. I don't really want to spend runes on stuff. Or not runes. Uh, the correct answer here is I don't want to spend somber stones on stuff that I don't know how good it is. I don't know if we should kill them. It should just be safer to do it. They don't do any damage to you. They just do the poison cloud. And I'm just here defending myself, you know? Getting some somber stones. So that's the problem I had before. Uh, I played with... Uh, the weapon I played with was... What is it called? The Great Axe. The Great Sword. The big black sword uh, that we unlocked on... I don't know. Fairly early in the game, actually. Um, I played with that, and I just couldn't get a weapon that is, uh, you know, close to as strong as it. Okay, if we go this way, we're gonna unlock the grace, so we just do that quickly. Also, we should get a picture. So yeah, we'll just unlock this grace and we'll come back here. These guys, they're really not a threat. They just ring their bell the whole time. How much damage it does, not too sure at the moment. The grace is the other way. I'm just checking for some loot here. Oh, baby, it's a triple kill. This is the way we came from, but there's loose loot from enemies we killed. Okay, so up here should be the grace. We're not gonna rest. Obviously, we don't want the enemies to spawn again. We just cleared out the zone. So we're just gonna clear out here. Looks like they are more likely to vomit on you than the other group was. Run the other way, let's see if there's loot here. We're getting their gear actually, which is nice. Oh. Killed himself a lot. <laughs> I don't think we looted him. Can't talk to him. Also can't hit. Let's 
So on the outside, right outside here is like two or three pieces of loot. Um, I think we'll just go get it quickly. And there is a way back to the grace. Get some grease. Not seeing anything else. We came from that direction. I'm not seeing anything else here. We'll just head back. Might be some higher up, though. But I mean, like, it's loose pieces of loot, guys. It's, you know, at this point, it's like, whatever. It doesn't really matter at this point. Why do I say this? Uh, I mean, are you really gonna lose out if you don't get a Sombre 4? Uh, wait a minute. We didn't grab the painting that should be in this area. There's a loot on the wall there. Should be able to jump across and get it. Also, I'm not sure if we should use, uh... Debuff we have. You can see our what is it called? Our poise is 70. Which means we have higher stagger chance by using that debuff from the woman hugging us, right? But she will never be able to hug us again because we finished the quest line. She died, obviously. Oh, here we go. This is where we haven't been yet. Vomit kind of hurts. Get poison darts. And then in here, we'll get the painting. Yeah, luckily we remembered that we need to get a painting here. It was also loot on... Yeah, this is where we've been. Yeah. It's also loot on the wall. And I honestly don't know how to get there, so... It needs to be from here. Oh. And obviously, again, the guy that I'm watching didn't do this. No way can you make that jump, bro. Dude, that was way too close. Honestly, should I try it again? Stones are key. I'll take it. Might be one of the better loots that was just laying around. It's maybe because it's... Decently hard to get to. Okay, now we're just gonna make our way back here. Uh, we're gonna just use the... Uh, use the ladder. And then I think that should be the poison ground done. Come on, man. Now we're gonna make our way into the Castle of Doom. I mean, I'm saying we're done with the area, but like it's maybe just like a... No, no, it should be done. Okay, 
Make our way to the left, to the left. Oh, hi, another, another one. Glass sharding. Where are you aiming, bro? Aiming at me, son? Do you know who I am? Don't worry, no one does. We got a Valkyrie prost Prosthesis. Uh, this is a key item for a quest for someone at the round table which we'll obviously do much later I'm gonna finish this whole castle first most probably okay I guess we'll go to this roof Not seeing any loose loots laying around. Golden Rune 4. And this is the Grace. Obviously we won't sit again. But we'll obviously grab it. No! <laughs> it's okay. I wanted to level up anyway. I wanted to press triangle to just see how much runes we got. Because I'm pretty sure it's still a lot. Um, seven to nine. So we, we get way more to go up with strength at the moment. So um, I feel like we're lacking some damage. Uh, I think vigor at 45 is decent uh, for where we are. We just want to get some more oomph in our swings, if that makes sense. Okay, there's quite a few loose loots uh, in the other side, so we're going to just do that now. And even us resting there is not a big deal. Um, do, we did have a lot of runes to spend, so... So it's... One of those slow areas again. there's a loose loot. Oh, man. The thing we killed has loot for us. Okay, now we're just gonna come here. We're gonna kick a ladder down. Uh, the guy that I'm watching uh, jumped from this side to get that uh, smithing stone. Oh, sorry, that's tall seed. Uh, the, the sword key. Um, the Psalm Sword Key. What's it called? Whatever. The Sword Key, bro. Uh, he came from this side. Obviously, I'm not gonna do it since I've done it already. Got a perfume bottle. Um, but you jump to that ledge there. Just highly recommend kicking this ladder down first. If you do fail, you can just use the ladder. But you jump across and you jump over and get the storm seed key. I did it from the other side, so we already have it. And by the way, you do the way you jump like faster or longer is if you press jump and then circle afterwards. Uh, because there's no build up to run. Okay, since we're down here. I would be happy killing them all, but like, if we don't kill them in one swing, it could become troublesome. That really isn't. Oh, 
Gun vomit, bro. I'm gonna do a backward jump. Okay, never mind. Now we're getting poisons for sure. See the poisons. <laughs> the poison's still building up. Make our way this way. Uh, we're gonna just uh, put some fire on our weapon. Chill, my brother. And we're poisoned, like I thought we will be. But it's okay, that covers this whole area, so now we can just teleport back to the Grace. And you can see that poison literally does... It does nothing, dude. Um, so I think that covers this area right here. Just want to double check this side. If we missed anything. Even with our fire buff active, we still didn't one-shot them. That is just sad, my buddy. So yeah, that is this area done. All that it's taken out. And now we'll just head back here. And continue on with the zone. Okay, now we're gonna just go in deeper. Let's go this way first. House Maria is ruined. Just de uh, deserts. Falling from the severed harpy. Okay, I couldn't read the last part. I honestly still don't know if this debuff is worth the health debuff. I'm gonna keep it on until it becomes uh, problematic. Imagine standing there your whole life and you have one job just to ambush someone and you still fail at your job. Just imagine my brie. We're gonna go up the ladder soon, don't worry. Maybe I should just do it now. Because this is the right way, actually. By the way, why am I receiving more runes now? I see that there's a footmark with an uh, arrow pointing up. In our buff list. Look at that. That's behind our debuff that we have. You can see the, the buff is like kind of yellowish. These guys, I don't know what they're like. They, they have absolute no posture. Like, I don't get it. Maybe it's item discovery. Maybe it's uh, more runes. At that moment, he knew. It's game over, man. And another one. Don't tell me the dogs is becoming two hits, bro. That debuff, oh, sorry, that buff is gone now. Okay, no other loots here. I don't think we need the shortcut, but I know where it is now. Yeah, 
Pero never. Still, still kind of funny that we're wearing these pants. The gear is the best we can get though, but the pants is like just for, because of overweight. So we got another guy here, another boss fight. Hello, can you get off me? Thank you, bro. Get him. Maria's Executioner Sword, and we have the Brayer Great Shield. So we have another good Great Shield here. Uh, whether you rest here or not doesn't really matter. Just grab the Grace, obviously. Uh, we do have points here that we might be able to spend. Uh, we need 6,000 inventory. Um, we're just gonna... Why is there an exclamation point here? We're just gonna say to whatever. And that should give us another level. So don't mind if I do. Level up. Um, our damage goes up by five. This one goes up by four. So we're getting a lot more for putting into strength. Quite a lot more, actually. So we're going to do that until uh, we get diminishing returns. And then we'll select a different one. Okay, so that wraps up here for now. Uh, we're going to head back to where we started. Which is over here. The Urtree Gazing Hill. That's because we found her sword. The one-armed lady's sword. Uh, that she wants. So we're going to go just go talk to her. Giving me this arm. I thank you. I am in your debt yet again. I think. If the arm serves well enough, it might be possible for me to wield a sword again. If the arm serves well enough, it might be possible for me to wield a sword again. Okay. Perhaps then I can aid you in battle. If it might be perhaps then Okay, that's her dialogue then. Uh, then we're going to head back to this one right here. Is it? Yeah, it's this one. We're going to fight a magma worm. We're going to fight quite a few things. Um, this feels like it's deeper into the cave. We want an out of the cave. <gasps> that was not <laughs> oh my goodness bro honestly get me out of here thank you for the butterfly so right here, we're just going to head west. We still don't kill one hit. All the zombies falling from the sky. It's raining, my zombies. Hallelujah. Right. Obviously dodge these magma floors. Ain't nobody got time for that.
You know, this water also must be kind of hot. So just looting a few loose goodies over here. And we're getting our grace of doom. So we're gonna run around this fort first before we're gonna go in. I'm gonna get a stone sword key here by the jellyfish. Not like we have enough of that already, to be honest. And now we're just gonna head in here. I want to kill these guys. I mean, we'll just kill this one. We're gonna just loop around the back quickly. Check if there's any loot. I think there should be. Oh yeah, it's this. Getting some stuff to make uh, rot consumables. Or should I say de-rot? Rot immunity. Well, it's not immunity though. And we're getting an enemy here. Okay, he's uh, popping some stuff through his head. This dude is on fire. We get uh, the Inferno weapon. That weapon is actually one of the best uh, strength gaining weapons, if I'm not mistaken. Getting a cookbook. Just more loose loots laying around. Slumber egg. A runeite. And this chest is open, but nothing in there. Looks like no other loot is here. So now we'll just be heading back. Make sure that there's no loot laying around. I don't think there's anything else. Okay, now we're gonna head to the castle. Goodness, bro. Yeah, there's no entrance anywhere, so it's not just boss fight time. Should be lava now. Oh. What the heck was that? Something came out of the floor. Here's where our grace is. So it's actually this way. Uh, I think? No. Uh, I'm gonna use the grace because I wanna use my map. Can't see where we are right now. So let's see, we wanna head to lava. I think it's this place right here. So it is up there. We're gonna fight a magma worm here, so.
I don't know if there's another entrance into the castle there, if it even is one. Obviously, this one you can fight on your mount. Like, I'm at your back feet. How are you not hurting yourself if you do that, then? on the shittiest spot in the fucking game, I swear. You know, I think this fight will be easier if you don't target him. Fuck this. Get another dragon heart. That was just tedious, dude. Like, every fucking time I swing my weapon, it just misses. And then he hits the floor the whole time when I'm close. It's so fucking stupid. Anyway. Let's play. Ooh. Sounds like a grandfather climbing into the hot tub. saying I could think of. Above the lofty clouds, the icy giant's peak doth soar. Here lieth the flame of the which ever burns. You want to get in your mount before you heal. Obviously you take damage from the lava, but it will heal your mount also if you drink. Then we're going to head south. For some looties. I mean, for a whole area. <laughs> Getting some juicy runes. Okay. Wanna kill all these guys? Gonna head up here, kill some more. Rolling Magma of Doom. Got the spell now. 
And we're gonna just lure this bear. Our, our mount is almost dead. And so are we. So we're gonna lure this bear over here. To this goodie right here. If we don't lure the bear, it's fine. We can kill the small guys first. broken. Like us. Okay, Sombre 6. Well, sorry, it's Smithing Stone 6. And some quite a lot of goodies for killing the, the bear. Get up here. Thank you. He was just protecting his baby bear, so gotta feel bad for doing that. He's looking for us. He's like, dude, I swear so I saw someone this way. But the bear had some loot on its body, but I don't see it anymore. Okay, so that is this section done. So there's a red orb here. It doesn't replenish your healing... Um, Your healing potions or healing pots. It uh, it it gave us five. Get the pulley crossbow, which is a pretty good weapon for all your archers out there. I'm gonna rest here just because I want to be get, uh, enabling my summon again. Okay, we're gonna fight a boss up ahead as well. Obviously, uh, we rested there so we can use a summon against it. There's some loose loot laying around here. We'll just grab what we can. Wow, dude. You ride faster than my horse. I don't know that as that's a thing. Okay, dude, what the? Holy. Getting a rainbow stone. Stop throwing stuff at me, dude.
You're beautiful. Some more loose loots here. Take care of the mage because it's ranged. this. There's some more loot back there that I missed, though. I already see one from here. Get the headpiece. Which should be your headpiece from round 40 if you're a caster. Volcanic stones. And get the full sorcery gear. And this is where the boss fight is, so... Just pop your summon. So I'm gonna just ride around on my horsey. My summon should also attack. This boss does not tickle, so just keep that in mind. And he's using throwing knives. Yeah, we should. Uh. So as you can see, this boss is literally nothing against the mimic. It might be because we have a level 10 Mimic, though. Get another Memory Stone for you casters out there. For you guys who don't know what a Memory Stone is, um, it, it makes you able to equip more abilities, if that makes sense. Talk to her, but she doesn't say anything. So we're going to grab this grace. And the thing's hand just slowly opens, by the way. And once it's open, we get the Comet Azure. So right now, we're just going to head back to the quest, who it is for. Which should be around here. Yeah, Source of Salon. Go talk to her, and then we're going to continue on with the quest line, Mabri. There you are, my apprentice. Shall we commence the lesson? What's this sorcery, my apprentice? Ah, then you have seen Master Azure. Master Azure was a founding Glimstone sorcerer, and my first teacher. A stern judge of men. But he must have seen something in you. You make us both proud. We can speak more later, my apprentice. If you recall, I was exiled from the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. It was for attempting to restore the primeval current of Glinstone sorcery. The toothless pedantry peddled by the Carian royal family can rot for all I care. I want glimstone sorceries that open our minds, unbound by terrestrial taboos, no matter what we give in return. My apprentice, I presume nothing. Teacher and student are not bound to tread the same path. But hear me out, my apprentice. I need your help to restore the primeval current of glimstone sorcery. Perhaps this is a journey we could take together. Splendid. I thank you. This pleases me. It's been far too long since I found a fellow kindred spirit. You must have a fabulous teacher. I need your help, my apprentice. Master Lusat is another founding Glimstone sorcerer. 
And like Master Azure, he was banished from the Academy. Now he languishes in prison somewhere. My apprentice, can you find Master Lusat? With this glimstone key, you should be able to cross the boundary that encloses him. I need him to restore the primeval current of glimstone sorcery. He's nigh a child of the stars. Such is his body now. After his expulsion from the Academy, I heard that Master Lusat returned to his home. A place called Celia, in the eastern Caled Wilds. Thinking about it, I obtained the glimstone key I gave you from a Celian sorcerer. It wouldn't be too much of a leap to suppose he's still cooped up nearby. Okay. So I just want to show you guys, if you don't know what a memory slot is, um, it's just a memorized spell. So every time you get a memory slot, you get one more mem uh, item you can put in here. Uh, also, for you guys who don't know about this trick, uh, if you put your most used ability first, if you hold up, even if you have 10 abilities, it doesn't matter. If you hold up, it always goes to the first one. So let's say you want to use the third one, uh, but you're at like there. In, for you to cycle all the way through, you can only go to this way, right? So you could just hold up and then press right twice and you'll uh, press, press up two more times after. And you'll be on that ability, so uh, just keep that in mind uh, for if you want to do that. Uh, we're going to sort out our chest a little bit here. Um, we're not going to use any summon for the most part anymore. We're only going to use the one that we have, the Mimic. Um, same with uh, spells. We're never going to use any spells. Uh, heal. We might actually use heal, isn't it? I think it's heal. These are pretty much paladin abilities at first. Uh, we might actually use poison. No, poison sucks in this game, dude. Like, honestly. I don't know why it's so weak. Ash of War will keep that, though. Uh, let's just get rid of some weapons also. I don't know. We might most probably will never use that again. And if we will... Almost probably level up a different one, to be honest. Um, we we'll keep this one here. And when it comes to the bow, we're going to use that bow, not this one. Um, bolts we'll keep, obviously. Uh, shields. So we'll just do this. So we have this. And I think gear we'll just keep in our inventory. Doesn't matter too much. Uh, for now, at least. Other than that, I think we are fine. For now, we're going to head to the round table because we are close to an hour. Uh, we're going to upgrade the shield because we always use the shield. There's no need to not to, in my in my opinion. I don't know what it does when you upgrade your shield. Well, where have you been hiding? I took you for dead. No matter, it's all the same. Lay out your arms then. So what do you get here? You get physical going up. Scaling is with strength. You only need 8 strength to use the shield as well. We can upgrade this? What? Incan scaling. I wonder what you get from this. Do your, does your weapon, the fire you put in your weapon, does it do more damage when you scale it? I mean, we have infinite smithing stone ones. Don't even have enough smithing stone twos, but we can purchase them. We can also use the ball bearings now. Uh, 
So purchase uh, smithing stone. So smithing stone one and two. We need four. Dude, there's so much we can buy here. It, it, it sucks that rune arcs is a, like a limited amount. Because that's why people get so frustrated when they die. Otherwise, I wouldn't care. Like, rune arcs 4,000 at this level, like at this place where we are right now, is fairly cheap. But the thing is, there's not an infinite amount. So we need smithing stone 3, and we don't even have that yet. That's crazy. Uh, also, the other weapon. I just want to see something. We can upgrade it. Smithing stone 6, we have quite a bit of. I am considering switching back to this weapon, by the way, because I, I was just a huge fan of the length this weapon is. But our damage at the moment is okay. Obviously, I think it's better with the other one. Uh, because the, the fire procs is just really, really nice. Okay, we're just going to head to Celia Hideaway right here. And then we're going to wrap out this video, guys. Thank you so much for being here. If you did enjoy, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.